Welcome to an organic compound, an inorganic compound class. I'm Michelle David Blessy, my name, popularly known as General David. Now, today we'll be looking at the naming of coordination compounds. Now, as you all see, we have different structures here. Now, we have the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and the sixth one. This is what we'll be looking at today. Now, how do we name all these? These are complex compounds. But how do we go about this? Now, it has rule. And the first rule says, whenever you want to name coordination compound, the first thing is that if you have the combination of the cations and the anions, then the cations should be named before the anions. That's the first thing. So the cations comes first before anion. And number two, if you have all these complex compounds, there'll be a central atom. There'll be a central atom on which other ligands will be attached to. And when you have any early ligands, you know, ligands are called substituents. They are attached to the main atom in the world, in a compound. Now, when you have this, you observe that the main, or let me say the central atom of this compound for the first one is the cobalt here. For this one here, we have the iron here, we have the cobalt here, we have the platinum here, we have the chromium, and at the same time, we have the platinum here. Now, when you want to name this, how are you going to go about this? The first thing is that whenever you have the ligand, most of the ligands end with O. Or let me even say yes, most of the ligands end with O. Like for instance, if you have the fluorine, fluorine as a ligand will be fluoro. Chlorine as a ligand will be chloro. You have the cyanide, cyanide as a ligand will be cyano. You have the iodine as a ligand will be iodo. And at the same time, the only exemption to this rule is the neutral uh, ligand. If you are talking about the neutral ligand, the neutral ligand such as water, then it is called aqua. If you have NH3, which is ammonia, if it's serving as a ligand, it will be called imine, which is A double M I N E. And if you have um, NO, CO, for instance, the CO would be carbonyl. Carbonyl as a ligand. We have some neutral ligands like that. So let us check the structures on the board. Let us know how to go about the naming of the structures on the board. Now, the first one, we have this. Now, you would definitely firstly identify the oxidation state for the central atom of each of the compounds. And the first one here, the oxidation state of the compound, the, the neutral atom here is the what? Is the cobalt here. So let us check the oxidation state of the cobalt here. So by so doing, you know, we have, let us represent the oxidation number of the cobalt to be X, then plus, this is ammonia, it is neutral. So the oxidation state will be zero. So that's why we have five into bracket zero. The subscript here, everything inside here is zero. Five into bracket zero. Then plus, you know, the oxidation state of halogens is minus one. So for chlorine, we have minus one. Then plus this chlorine outside, we have it to be two into bracket minus one. Everything equals zero. Because the law says the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of unchargical compound is equal to zero. Now, if you have this to be X, this one is zero minus one, minus two equals zero. So x minus three is equals to zero. Now if x minus three is equals to zero, that shows that our x is equals to zero. Our x is equals to three, rather. That shows the oxidation state of the cobalt here is equals to three. So now, since we've gotten the oxidation state of cobalt to be three, then don't forget this is a ligand, this is another ligand. We have amine as a ligand, don't forget for the equation one, we have amine as a ligand, and we have chlorine as well here, which is chloro as a ligand. But looking at this structure, it is divided into the cations and the anion. This is the anions outside, and we have this to be what? The cations. So now, if you want to name this, we have to start with the naming of the ligand first. So please, we have the combination, the ligands will have to be mentioned first. And if you have two or more ligands in the question or in the compound, you have to follow the alphabetical order. That shows that the ligand with the first alphabet will come first before the other. And as you can see, between amine and the chloro here, that shows that amine will come first before you mention 
the chloro. Now coming to this, that shows that if you check the five, according to five, five means, you know, we have one to be mono, we have two to be bi, you can call it di, we have three to be tri, and four to be tetra. And we have five to be painter, like paint, we have six to be hexa, seven to be hepta. So when you check this, we have five here. So I can start the naming by mentioning, the, you know, the first ligand to be coming here is what? Amine, and it is five of it. So we now have it to be penta amine. So let me use the capital letter to differentiate. Penta amine. Then the next one is the chlorine here, which is one. We now have it to be what? Chloro. Then what's the main, what's the, what's the main or the central atom, which is what? Cobalt. We now have it to be penta amine, cobalt. And what is the oxidation number of the cobalt here? Don't forget, we derive it, which is three. We now have it to be cobalt three. And you made mention of the chlorine here, which is the anion here, which is what? Chloride. So that is why the name of this, the first compound is pental amine chloro cobalt three chloride. Now let's go to the second one. Let's go to the second one. Now for the second one here, for the second one here, now if you can see, we have the potassium here, we have the iron here, we have the cyanide here. Now, the central ion here is the ion here. So let us find the oxidation state of the ion, in which you have three into bracket plus one. The oxidation number of the potassium is plus one. Then we have the ion, let's substitute that to the world, to the X. And we have plus six into bracket minus one. Everything equals zero because they are on chargical compound. And don't forget, the oxidation number of the cyanide, it will be what, it will be minus one. You have this to be plus three plus X, minus six to be zero. Then you have X, don't forget, minus six plus three equals zero. So X will be minus three equals zero. So X is equal to what, three. Our X is still equal to three. That shows the oxidation number of the ion here is what, is three. Now, if you want to start the naming, we have this side to be the cation and this side to be what, the anion. But if you check this very well, the, Saint, the, the, the central atom is found at the anion side. Now, the law says if the central atom for the complex ion, if the central atom like this, the main, that is the main atom, is found at the anion side, then it will be end with ATE. For instance, if it is Cu that is found, it will be called corporate. If it is ion, for instance, it will be called ferrite, or we call it ferrite. You know, the ferrite the, from the ferrous is, the Fe here is coming from the what? From the ferrite. So if you have as more like that, so when we get to the question, we see the equation. So this will be what? Will be used for this law. Now let us name this. Now we now start. You, you can see that it's different from the previous one. So we have the metal here, which is the cation side. So we now have it to be, it's not be the potassium. Potassium and six is what? X. So now I have it to be potassium hexa. We have this to be cyano ferrates. And what is the oxidation number? And that's is what three. So the oxidation number of the ion here is three. So that's why we have it to be potassium hexa cyano ferrates. What ferret three? Then let's get to the third one. And for the third one, the same thing for the third one will be applicable to the first one. Now checking, the cobalt here is the what? Is the main, that is the central atom. So let us get the oxidation number of the cobalt here. We have it to be X plus, then we have this to be, it's a neutral compound, that is water. We have it to be six into bracket zero, then plus, we have three into bracket minus one, which everything equals zero because this is bromine. The oxidation number of uh, the halogens is equal to what? Minus one. So we now need to be X plus zero, minus three equals zero. You can see that X minus three equals zero, then X equals to three. Then the oxidation state of this is still equals to three. Then let us name this. You can see that we have the cations here, we have the anion. So we first name the cation before the anion. So let us start. We, don't forget, at the anion side as well, we have the ligands. So we first make mention of the ligands before we talk about the central atom. So this six is still what? X. So that means we now have it to be X. Uh, don't forget, the water is named as aqua. That will now be hexa, aqua, then we have it to be cobalt. And what is the oxidation number of the cobalt here? That's equals to three. Cobalt three, bromide. Bromide. That means the word, the bromine here. So that's the third one. And let's check the fourth one. The fourth one. Now coming to the fourth one, you can see that the central here is the platinum. 
which will be platinate. You know, it will be it will, it is found at the what at the anion side. So it will be end with what A C E. So now let us check the oxidation number of the platinum here. We have four into brackets plus one. That is the oxidation number of the sodium is plus one. Then plus we are looking for the platinum here, which is X plus six into bracket minus one, which is for chlorine. Chlorine is minus one. Everything equals zero. They now have it to be plus four plus X minus six equals zero. So this is X minus six plus four equals zero. Don't forget minus six plus four will be what minus two. So X minus two equals zero. So X equals what two. The oxidation number of the platinum here is equal to two. So let us start. You can see that this will follow the trend of the what of the second question here. So that's why we have this to be sodium. Then we have this to be what to be at six to be what hexa. So we have this to be sodium. Then hexa chloro. Don't forget the ligand first. Then this one will now be what platinate. So we now have it to be platinate. And what is the oxidation number of the platinum here? Don't forget is what two, and that is why it is sodium hexachloroplatinate what two. Sodium hexachloroplatinate two, and that's the fourth one. And the third one, or let me say the fifth one now. The fifth one, the central atom here is the chromium here. So now having the chromium as the central atom, so let us find the oxidation number. It will be X plus this is water. Water is the what? Is the neutral. So we have it to be zero. So that would be four into bracket zero, then plus two into bracket. The oxidation number of the chlorine is minus one. Everything equals zero. So now have it to be x plus zero minus two equals zero for this one. Then we now have it to be x minus two equals zero. So x is equals to what? Two. Now the oxidation number of the chromium here is equal to two. Now, since we have this to be equal to 2, then let us check. Don't forget, this one is divided into 2. We have the cations and the anions here. So, therefore, we are going to start with the ligands here. So, that means we now have the 4. And 4 is known as what? Tetra. So, now we need to be tetra, aqua, then chromium. What's this? The oxidation number of the chromium is what? It's 2. We now have it to be chromium 2 chloride. Don't forget, it will end. So, we have it to be tetra, aqua, chromium 2 then chloride. Then let us go to the last one. You can see that the last one has the charge at the top. So don't forget, if it is ionic compound, everything, the algebraic sum of the oxidation number will be equal to the what? To the ionic charge on the compound. Now let us find the oxidation number of the, of the major, or let me say the central atom of the what? Of the compound, which will be X plus, we have four into bracket minus one for the chlorine here. Everything equals what? Minus two. And we now have x minus 4 to be equal to minus 2. So x is equal to minus 2 plus 4. And as you can see, the x is equal to 2. Now, that shows that the oxidation number of the platinum here is equal to 2. So let us name. Don't forget that the, the ligands here will come before you made mention of the central atom. So that's why we now have it to be, the 4 is tetra. So we now have it to be tetra. And don't forget, Cl is what? Chloro. Tetra, chloro. Then we now have this to be Platy, platinate, platinate what? Two. Platinate two. So that's why we have it to be tetra chloro platinate two. And that is the uh, end of the naming of the coordination compounds. And with this, if you can follow the rules of this, you will be able to know how to name the words the coordination compounds very well. And I believe with this, we've done something wonderfully well. So please let us have your comments, like, and subscribe. God bless you.